Your Honor, the state hasn't produced enough evidence to bring this case to trial. The DNA that was found at the crime scene does not match the DNA of my client. The eyewitness account cannot place my client at the crime scene. And every shred of evidence in this case has been all fabricated to try to make my client look like something he's not. In fact, all the evidence in this case is purely circumstantial. Mr. Morgan, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. Mr. Palmer, do you have any evidence to help the state case today? No, Your Honor, but we would like to ask for a continuance while police check for more. Oh, come on, Your Honor. The state should have done this before they pressed charges against my client. It's not fair for him to sit in a jail cell while the prosecution goes on a fishing expedition. We only need a couple weeks. Mr. Palmer. Mr. Palmer, I have to agree with the defense. The state hadn't shown any evidence, any proper cause to take this case to trial. But, Your Honor. Mr. Palmer, you can refile these charges when you have more evidence. Mr. Tarpin, this is your lucky day. This case is dismissed. You're free to go. All rise. Palmer, I promise you, you'll get him. You know he did it. Everybody knows. Give me some evidence I can use to put him away. What's your name, sir? You got my file right there. Haven't read it. Didn't even open it yet. I figured that everything I can learn about you in that file is from your past. I'm more concerned with your future. If you want to have a future. My future? I'm not believing you. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're the man. And the only thing the man ever done for me was put his heel right on my neck. And that's the same thing you're going to do. First of all, I'll speak to you with respect. So I expect you to talk to me the same way. Do you understand? Yeah, whatever, man. We have two choices here. I'm not the man. I just started this job. So I have no idea what you've done in your past, nor am I concerned with it. Do you understand me? Like I said, whatever. Look, you can do this the easy way or the hard way. But you've been assigned to me now. So I gotta work. Gotta help you just. See, that's what I'm saying right there. If you hadn't looked at my file, how do you know I was locked up? Look, I can assure you that I have not looked into your phone. If you tell me who you are, I'll trust you. As long as you stay out of trouble, I have no reason to open that file. Thanks. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm Detective Mahoney. I hear you've been asking questions about one of my cases. Please, have a seat. Thanks. So, what's going on? Why are you asking questions about my case against Darius Davis? Just curious, that's all. No. I've heard things about you. You've got quite a reputation. Reputation? Yeah. I hear you have a keen eye for finding facts. Seeing things others miss. I don't understand, Detective. Can I be frank with you? Sure. I know you don't think Darius did it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be all over my case. So why are you here? He didn't do it. I think he was sleeping with her, but not rape. I know that bastard Tarpon did it. But I can't get a damn thing on him. Nothing. What do you want me to do? I mean, he's Hopkins' guy. You should be talking with him. No. I need your help. Hopkins would love to violate him, but that's just not good enough. Reinterview the witnesses, find new ones. I'm too close to this now, and I can't even think straight. I've been through the evidence a thousand times. There's got to be something I'm missing. From what Sonny tells me about you, if it was there, you'd have already found it. Sonny? Yeah, he's my father's best friend. His old partner. Yeah, we still talk a lot. He actually owns a club now. Live shows, that kind of thing. He retired soon after your father was killed. Well, look. This is my file. It's everything I got. Have a look at it and see what you think. 
Look, I know you don't want to see an innocent man go to prison. The day the charges were dropped against Tarpon, I followed him down to the lakes off of North Elm. He just stood there with a smug smile on his face. He's cold. I don't think you gave me the entire story. So you want to tell me the rest? What are you talking about? Either he raped her or there was something going on. You want to talk about it? Boy, you better speak up real fast. What, Mom? I didn't do it. I told you that. I didn't rape that woman. Well, Darius, why was your DNA there, son? Oh, Mama. I need you to talk real quick in here. I was sleeping with her. Sleeping with her? A couple of days a week. We study and then mess around afterwards. Oh my God, Darius. Boy, how many times have I told you? Mom, she was coming on to me. And you just couldn't say no? And you didn't use any protection? Look, I didn't rape her. So all you have to do, Darius, is to get her to tell the police. Then we can get the charges dropped. She won't, because I already asked her. I even told her that my mom had to put her house up to get me out and everything else. Why? Because she doesn't want her husband to know what we were doing. Damn, Darius! She gonna say something, She's son. not, Mom! She is gonna say something. She is not. Okay, well, we gonna see. She is not. She said she'll deny anything that me and her were doing. All because of your little DNA. She even changed her number so I couldn't even call her anymore. And you know what else? What else, Darius? Boy, to knock you out. She put this out on me. A restraining order. I kept trying to call her. Mom, she was accusing me of raping her. I wanted to call her. Boy, how many times have I talked to you about this type of thing? How many times have I told you, son? I'm sorry. It's too late I'm for sorry. sorry.